Here is a brief introduction to how to drive the Prius. Now I'm holding in my hand the key to the Prius. This is a special key because you don't really need to put it in the ignition, you just need to have it in your pocket whenever you want to drive the car. The first thing you need to know is that since you don't put a key in, there's no way to start the motor traditionally. So the procedure you use is to put your foot on the brake and to press this button, which is the power button. When you do that, the display in front will light up. In African -American. Why did you want to write this and story? you will see on the dashboard, right next to the zero, there's a little still in some uh, word ready, saying that you're ready to go. Now, in order to get the car in motion, you have to put it in reverse. Unlike the stick shift you may have in your car, we have an automatic transmission. A little bit unusual, but to put it in reverse, you push the knob to the left, raise it. Notice we hear a beeping noise. That's telling you that it's in reverse, and up on the dashboard there is an indicator that we're in reverse. There is a parking brake in the front, which is a push in to set, push in again to release, and now you're ready to go. So the engine itself may or may not start because the car is partially battery powered. So don't be surprised if it seems very, very quiet. Now once you're out of the garage, there is a automatic garage door opener and closer and we actually have a button here on the uh, rear view mirror. It's button labeled number one. Looks like it's a little bit worn out here, but it's the one on the very left. Push and hold that button until the garage door starts to go down. Finally, after you back out of the driveway, you want to put the car in drive using the same gear shift knob, pull it to the left and down and release it. It returns to the home position, but you're now in drive. And we're ready to go. Now I'm on the, uh, the highway. We always go down the same highway, Highway 13 North, when we're going to San Francisco. Uh, this connects us to Highway 24, uh, just about two miles down from the house after we get onto Highway 13. And it's a little bit uh, different than usual because we make a left exit uh, from Highway 13 onto 24. And you may see the sign coming up here that says West 24 left exit. And so it's just a quick jump through here and we join the highway and now if you're going to San Francisco just follow the sign. Now you may decide you want to take the train into San Francisco. If you do you want to take the next exit just really the second exit after getting on called College Avenue which I'm doing right now. Uh, there's a uh, quite a few nice restaurants down on College Avenue, and there's also the BART station. Uh, BART stands for Bay Area Rapid Transit. And we see coming up on the left a sign uh, pointing us to BART. It's just ahead and on the left. There's a parking lot there, and if you go during the day, you need to... Uh, there's a machine inside the... Uh, station where you have to register the fact that you've parked and which space you've parked in uh, in order not to get in trouble with the BART uh, authorities. When you reach your destination, all you need to do is press the power button one more time and that shuts the car off. You'll hear a little whirring noise right after you do that. 
It's part of the power saving operation. Okay, and of course, once we get to our destination, we want to put the parking brake on. That's with your left foot on the left side of the driver's floor. Push in to set, push in again to release. Now, when you're ready to go home, we go ahead and put our foot on the brake and press the power button to start. Uh, the beeping now is because we haven't put on our seat belts. Uh, to find our way home, we can set the destination in the GPS. First, we press the map button and we have to agree to the terms of this so that the lawyers make sure we can't sue them if we screw up. And um, to set the destination, we press the second button labeled Dest. And to get ourselves home, we choose Memory. And in this list, we have an entry for Shea Ruth A. Spence. Sorry, it's French. We can't do Italian on this. Press Enter. And then Guide. Now it will... When we're heading home from San Francisco or other areas, we'll often uh, approach home on Highway 24, and we want to switch from Highway 24 to Highway 13. Now, there are two options, of course. We can take Highway 13 north or Highway 13 south. We always will take it south. North goes into Berkeley. South goes to our home. So as we approach Highway 13, you see the sign 13 South Hayward. If you get that, you're going in the right direction. Now when we get onto Highway 13 South, there's an exit for Broadway Terrace, which we don't take, but we are going to take the next exit, which is uh, Moraga Avenue and Thornhill Drive. That's coming up just one mile after we get onto Highway 13 South. Notice the sign Piedmont next exit. That's your reminder. Uh, we don't live in Piedmont, but we're very close to them, and that's where we go. And the exit is just around this final curve, as you can see coming up here. Now, this is probably the um, most interesting part of the trip home. We go to the right here, and then we are about to enter on to Moraga, and here we have just to our left a couple of lanes of traffic coming up the hill. The cars come up pretty fast, and we have to go all the way to the left and make an immediate left turn onto a state's drive. Once again, the uh, button on the rear view mirror is used to open the garage door. And as we pull in, notice the target on the left, and I pull up until the target is right next to me. One more item here as we uh, come into the garage. We go ahead and press the power button, set the brake, and we're done.